Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Sikin and in this video we're going to be talking about some new skincare and hair care products that I tried out, what worked for me, what didn't. So it's sort of like a review video and let's get started. The first one we're going to be talking about is the Axis by Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. This was so popular and you know it was out of stock for the longest time and then i i took it took a while for it to be delivered to me i got it from mintra actually and this has five percent niacinamide squalane and uh yeah so the reason a lot of people like it is because it contains activated niacinamide that helps correct dark spots and brighten skin with plant derived squalane which locks in the moisture which i feel like yeah it does it it's not drying it is not a very like you know very dry serum it's not like that it's a very nice hydrating formulation and all of that but i've been using this for over two and a half weeks now or more than that i think almost pretty much a month and i don't really see any difference with this product let me know if you have tried this out and um, if you feel like it has worked for you i really have like dark spots as such that i wanted to work on but i have discoloration on my skin so i'm trying out a lot of different products especially with the weather right now i feel like my skin was is looking so bad like it's not the way it used to look so i'm like i've switched out a lot of my skincare products i'm trying to try out new products that can work for this weather condition and maybe my skin is just like um too used to those products i just wanted to try out some new products to see if something will work out but this didn't do anything much like you know in terms of like evening out my skin tone or anything like that you know or like even in terms of the texture or like it has nice animal which is great for even tackling breakouts as well but i feel like it doesn't do that so it's supposed to brighten your skin and i feel like it didn't do that at all so let me know if this has worked out for you guys should i empty this complete tube and then come back with a review again because so far i'm like why did i spend 1500 plus on this when i can't see any result with it where i have a lot of products from dermaco and um all of that that works out for me i have used their kojic acid serum for the longest time when i had this kind of discoloration and that worked out really well i emptied that serum out so yeah now i think i need just need to go back to that now speaking of dermaco we have the dermaco 20 percent actives peptide stem cell hair growth serum now if you're someone who is very very like sick and tired of thinning of hair you're seeing hair clumps everywhere it's on your pillow you, your ponytail doesn't look as full anymore your hairline is receding and it can be genetic sometimes but also hormonal imbalanced diet stress and all of that and if you're like okay if i can find a solution to it externally that can fix it I think you should definitely try this one out. I feel like it is a very nice and effective hair growth serum. You guys know I have been testing out these kind of products quite a bit and trying to find alternatives to my favorite products as well. And just seeing if we have a lot of, you know, alternatives in the affordable market. And I feel like we certainly do have it with this one. This has the highest concentration of actives in a hair growth serum and formulated with a power packed duo of peptides and stem cells it has ingredients that works your shot for your hair like folligan and a loop and anagen which prevents hair loss and improves scalp health and it creates a really nice optimal environment for new hair growth it also has redensil which is a plant-based compound that targets and reactivates dormant hair follicles now i've mentioned to you guys that i've never had like baby hair here in the longest time and you can see there like so much baby hair that is grown out in my scalp and also it has reached a pretty good length it was not there for years so it activates those dormant hair follicles and so it has helped a lot in uh you know hair regrowth for me and i also really like the texture of this one it is non-sticky non-oily and it's not something that you have to wash your hair every single time you use so you can apply this overnight and just let it be and you can wash your hair regularly as and when you want to so it doesn't make it very oily or greasy which i really really like and it's very quick absorbing it comes with this easy spray packaging that you can just spritz on your scalp and just massage it gently i really like my hair health at this uh point it seems feels so much more fuller thicker and healthier so i'm really really enjoying this serum it's really nice and affordable and it's easily accessible as well if you're someone who's suffering with hair loss receding hairline thinning of hair and you just want to try out a product that can boost hair growth and reduce this hair fall definitely do check these products out you can check out these products on the dermaco website and use my coupon code um deep 2024 for an additional 20 percent off on the dermaco website only but additionally these products are also available on amazon nika flipkart and purple and every time you shop from the dermaco they link your order with a student they help 
help educate along with Bumi as part of their Young Scientist Initiative. They have empowered 20,000 plus students this year. And also, as always, all of the Damako products are fragrance free. So make sure to check out the description for the links of these products. Such a nice, effective serum. I'm almost out of this particular serum. It's recommended to use it at least four to six weeks consistently every night to see a difference. You can't just use it like two to three days and then expect a result. So I've been using this continuously for almost two to three weeks now and I uh, am almost out of this particular product as well and it's a really good one to try out. Let's move on to some Aqualogica products. This one is the Aqualogica Clean Detan uh, Plus Gentle Melt Exfoliator. This is a very good alternative. Wishful enzyme scrub. I mean it has actives in it but it's like a physical scrub but it doesn't have very harsh scrub particles in it and as and when you're exfoliating you can see all of these dead skin cells build up and all of that and it just feels nice. It's a good product to use like one so once a week and just when you want to feel good so it's not something that gives you very very like vast visible difference but it gives you a gentle exfoliation and just gets rid of the dead skin cells and feels good so if you wanted a really good affordable alternative to the wish full enzyme scrub you can try this out which i do really like and another product from aquologica that i absolutely love is the detan plus dewy sunscreen spray so this is a very nice easy to apply on the grow on the go sunscreen spray that you can just spritz on your body on your face it's very very lightweight and it it gives you a very nice dewy finish and more than my face because I feel like sometimes for my face I just use like a cream based sunscreen and a lot of other fluid sunscreens but this works really well for my body and I just spritz it all over and then I'm headed out of the door. It's very easy to carry with your with you in the bag as well. It's such a nice product. I highly recommend you guys try this out if you wanted like a spray sunscreen to try out which is very lightweight and non-sticky. And then I'm picked up this um, elf holy hydration face cream which is not one of my favorite products i mean it's not bad like i expected it to be very very hydrating it is a little bit thick but it doesn't give you as much hydration on your skin as you would expect like the consistency and everything is nice and thick but like it's very very minimal and by the time you're like done and then you're going to start off with makeup and most of the times i'm trying out these kind of very thick moisturizers to use it underneath makeup i'd find that it doesn't even last as much so I'm, i have to use a very hydrating glowy primer just so that my makeup doesn't look very cakey or clingy and it does have very strong fragrance so just keep that in mind i'm not sure if this would work for people with very dry skin as they've recommended but maybe for people with combination skin type or sort of normal skin and if you're okay with a little bit of fragrance in your skincare i got this during the elf buy one get one sale and that's the reason i picked it up but yeah if i empty this tub i probably would not go out and repurchase it again and another product that i was like so disappointed with is this pharmacy set that i picked up again uh from mintra which was on a really good discount so these are really raved after products so this one is the pharmacy green clean uh cleansing balm which is an okay cleansing balm it works just like any other i mean the quantity is really less but it's like a trial pack so i just wanted to try it out and see it's nice it melts all of your makeup really well just like most cleansing balms do it has a very strong lemony lemon zesty scent to it uh, again if you have very sensitive skin you're very sensitive to fragrance most of these products do have a lot of fragrance in it so just keep that in mind so i don't think you would probably like this and um yeah, it's an okay cleansing balm, but would I justify paying that much for it? I'm not quite sure because I have a lot of affordable cleansing balms that I uh, like and I'm also trying out constantly. So I wouldn't repurchase this in a full size anytime. And then this uh, Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner, which is a pretty decent toner. I haven't used it a ton to be honest and to give you like a proper full-fledged review but every single time i've used it i did ha happen to like it like every time i use it it's mostly after cleansing my skin so i make sure that all of that makeup residue is gone all my pores are clean and it's not clogged when i'm using something like this because it has a it has two percent bha in it and then uh this honeymoon glow aha uh so resurfacing night serum uh, again not something that i've seen a lot of results with this one you have to use it two to three times a week and every single time i've used it i don't find it to be very like glowy or i didn't see it to brighten my skin tone or even out my skin tone nothing of that sort maybe it just looks a little bit dewy when i first initially apply it but after that it's gone and this one is the uh, pharmacy honey halo ultra hydrating ceramide moisturizer which is a really 
thick moisturizer and it's a nice ceramide based moisturizer now if you want a very visible glow if you want a very very hydrating moisturizer this is not the one for you but if you wanted a ceramide based moisturizer that works on your skin and if you have very dry damaged skin you can try that out i did really like the moisturizer and the cleansing balm but the other two products i could easily skip and stay without but this is a really good product see it doesn't leave any glow it doesn't really had any intense hydration it works for a different purpose like repairing your skin healing your natural skin barrier and to finish off this video two cleansing products that i tried out this one is the conscious chemist ultra light oil cleanser now this was recommended to me by a lot of you guys because uh, i saw a lot of comments asking for alternative to the beauty of just Joseon um, cleansing oil that I was using which is my absolute favorite you know one pump of that just dissolves all of that makeup it just takes away everything and you can just go in with another cleanser and all of that makeup residue everything is gone but this one is sort of like a dry oil in my opinion so you have to use at least two two and a half pumps and be a little bit more generous with this to dissolve all of that makeup and I always found it to be a little bit like drying on like drier like a dry oils kind of a consistency on my skin like I would probably prefer using something that is a little bit more emollient it has a little bit more of an oil slick especially because I'm using it as a cleansing oil but yeah it's a good alternative I would say maybe 499 rupees you get uh, 100 ml of product and you can always find this on discount I got it for as low as 300 ish rupees like 350 ish so it's a pretty good affordable alternative but not the best affordable alternative do let me know if you have anything else I have bought the deconstruct cleansing balm as well which I am yet to try out I have have so many skincare products i have to yet try out but because i have so many sent to me constantly i'm also trying it out for review purposes and everything i'm not able to quite get there and then this is another product that i saw some uh, random person talk about this and i was like this is something that i would love this one is the uh, face shop all clear micellar all-in-one cleansing foam so uh, this is for days where i'm lazy to double cleanse okay this is just for those days it sort of doesn't work for like full skin full beat makeup like if you have eye makeup and everything you can't even take this close to your eyes let me tell you it has a very strong lemon scent to it and it also the scent and something about this is kind of stinging and burning on your skin so if you have sensitive skin just straight up stay away from this but it works on days where you have sort of like a lightweight natural everyday makeup going on and the reason it works is because it is a cleansing foam that kind of adheres like sticks onto your skin so it's pretty much like you know you can instead of doing all of this you can just double cleanse but i don't know why i still want to do this sometimes okay so it just sticks onto your skin so you have to gently like massage massage take off that cleansing foam sometimes you would tend to use a little too much and then you would be stuck there just washing your face for straight 10 minutes and if it enters anywhere near your nostrils it burns do not get it anywhere on your under eye area as well but otherwise it does like like i mentioned because it sticks you can cleanse it off you can like rub it nicely gently massage it and then it would remove off all of your makeup because it has those micellar you know properties in it it also has aha pha ba and all of that so my cells lift away makeup and impurities from your skin so yeah it's a product that you can use on days where you know maybe you've come back home really late you're really lazy to do double cleansing or just for those days you can try it out but i would still ideally recommend double cleansing because that is so much more easier than taking this off your face so yeah it was a little bit of like a mm, why did i buy it but i don't regret it completely there are some products in this you guys can see i do completely regret but not this one so yeah that's pretty much it let me know what other skincare products you want me to try out and let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you'd like to watch and while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you're notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye